Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about one of the most overpowered characters in the Skibidi Toilet series, the legendary Titan TV Man, who is also known as the Cinema Man. We'll be talking about who he is, how strong he is, where he came from, when did he first appear, and why he essential to beating the Skibidi Toilets for good. So watch the video until the end to not miss any of the secrets that we are going to unveil. After the arrival of TV Men on episode 39, things take a fast turn as we meet the new race. They instantly join the Alliance, and on episode 40 we learn that the TV Men speak in reverse, but we'll get to that later on when I'm showcasing every single time the Cinema Man spoke. So far, the TV race has been more powerful against the Skibidi, including the Cinema Man. It is speculated that Cinema Man is the strongest amongst the Titans because of the fights he went through, which we'll be talking about later in the video, but after what happened on episode 50 and 51, we may need a new comparison of the newly upgraded Titan Cameraman and the Titan TV Man. If you would like to see us make an analysis on the new upgraded Titan Cameraman, let us know in the comments. Anyways, this incredibly overpowered Titan first appeared on Skibidi Toilet Episode 41, right after we were introduced to the other TV men, and his first appearance was a sight to see. Even before he showed up, just his presence made the Skidaby Toilets freeze and scared. It was one of the most shivering moments in the series. It felt like time froze and everything stopped. Normally, Skibidi Toilets don't stop fighting even in the presence of danger. Only time we've seen them scared was in episode 23 where the Skibidi was trying to attack a lab that the cameraman resided in, but at that moment the Titan cameraman was being repaired inside, and the Skibidi toilets that were there knew that it was their last moments. The second we see the cinema man, we see that he has a purple core, in contrast of the blue and red core the other two Titans have. He also has spikes on his shoulders and his arms with a big coat hiding his whole body. It seems like he is quite the upgraded Titan. But the thing is, he doesn't even have to fight physically, which makes him a lot more superior. He also has the beam attack the other TV men have, but a lot more stronger. He just stays there beaming the whole street, while for us, the POV cameraman, everything turns red and takes a huge turn. We see every skibidi toilet flushing themselves, which is a lot more powerful compared to the normal TV beam. Imagine you can just look at your enemies and they just simply die. This could also mean that he has the ability to control the minds of characters that are less powerful than him. Right after the fight, this powerful being stands up with all his might and glory, and he just makes a cat face, LMAO. When I first saw this, I laughed so hard, but this adds so much depth to the character and it looks like the Cinema Man is the goofy one out of the three Titans we've seen so far. After his first appearance, we start seeing the Cinema Man a lot more, but before his next appearance, after that incredible sight in episode 41 where he made all the Skibidi Toilets flush themselves, as we can see on episode 43, the Skibidi Toilets started wearing sunglasses to protect themselves against the TV beams, but I really don't think that those sunglasses would work against the Cinema Man, as he returns on episode 44, which is an incredible episode full of action and character development. We start with seeing the cinema man throwing and killing some skibidi toilets using his physical strength this time, which shows us that he can do more than just using the beam. But as he is fighting the skibidi toilets, a new version of a skibidi toilets with special upgrades that looks like Dr. Octopus's arms from Spider-Man shows up to the scene with confidence until Cinema Man punches him incredibly hard, literally breaks his sunglasses, and uses the beam right on his face. We can also see the horror on his face right after the punch, knowing that he screwed up thinking that the glasses would protect him against this monstrosity. Cinema Man doesn't even make the Skibidi Toilet flush himself. He simply uses the beam and the Skibidi Toilet explodes and dies. And this doesn't even show his true powers because right after this moment, a new wave of upgraded and armored Skibidi Toilets start marching towards Cinema Man. And one of the Skibidi Toilets with rockets fire a RPG on Cinema Man. But he simply just waves his hands to block the incredibly powerful attack, which showcases that his defense stats are incredibly high as well. And he doesn't even stop there, it looked like he was annoyed by the attack, and right after speaker helicopters came to upgrade the Cinema Man, which made his beam so much more stronger with the new upgraded sounds. This most likely makes him the most upgraded Titan we've seen so far, unless the newly upgraded Titan Cameraman is stronger than him, which I think we'll soon find out. 
After the speakers come, this upgrade also gives the cinema man the power to fly with the new helicopter speakers he has on his shoulders. He uses his new beam to showcase the power, and every single upgraded Skibidi toilet that was there at the moment explodes into ashes, but it doesn't end here either. We see the Titan Speaker Man, who is in mind control at the end of episode 44, coming towards Cinema Man, which makes him show his worried face for the first time. This was when it first came out one of the craziest cliffhangers ever. When we start Skibbity episode 45, we see that both Titans already started fighting with full power, using all their abilities to their full extent, punching each other, shooting lasers to each other, and not just that for the first time, we see more of the powers of Cinema Man, which will make you understand why he is the most overpowered Titan so far. In this fight, even though he wins against the Titan Speakerman, he doesn't even need to use his beam. We see him flying for the first time, but also we see him use the claws on his back for the first time. They are an insane addition to his armory, which makes him crazy powerful. His defense is a lot more impressive than it looks because he tanks all of Titan Speakerman's attack without flinching once. This makes the Titan Speakerman run away, and right after the fight, we see Cinema Man making a stair face and teleport to somewhere else, which I guessed it was where the Titan Speaker Man was going, and I was right. When episode 46 starts, we see the Titan Speaker Man still trying to escape, but Cinema Man just teleports there. But there is something on his way. A new upgraded Skibidi toilet shows up with a lot of confidence and tries to attack Cinema Man, which showcases another power that Cinema Man possess, which is audio barriers. The Skibidi toilet tries to attack his chest, but Cinema Man uses his speakers to block the attack and uses his spikes to kill the Skibidi toilet right before going after the Titan Speakerman. He also shows a UW face after killing, which makes me wonder if he is a psychopath. On Skibidi episode 47, he teleports to a city where the Skibidi toilet's already destroyed, and there is nothing but debris left at this place, which I think might be close to the Skibidi toilet base because it was where the Titan Speaker Man was trying to escape, to which makes me wonder if he was trying to go back and be repaired. There is also something else that happened at the end of the episode that was foreshadowing something huge, but we'll get into that later in the video. Let's get back to the fight that happened on episode 47 right after our beloved hero teleports to the ruined city. After a long time, G-Man shows himself to protect the Titan Speaker Man, and he is not wearing glasses. He doesn't even hesitate for a single second before attacking Cinema Man. And Cinema Man instantly uses his beam, thinking that he can one-shot kill G-Man. But things take a turn when G-Man resists the beam, even though it was the longest beam so far, which was insanely strong but we can see G-Man taking damage from his mouth being scarred. If it weren't for the flying chainsaw Skibidi toilet that was upgraded to the brim who cut off Cinema Man upgrades while he was too focused on killing G-Man with the beam, G-Man most likely would have died there. And after this happens, everyone starts ganging up on Cinema Man since his upgrades are gone, but he doesn't yield. And we learn that he also has another skill, which is a hook that he can pull enemies with. He pulls G-Man while taking on his full laser eye blast without any damage and starts using the TV beam on G-Man up close to his face, which looks like it's killing G-Man, but somehow the Titan Speakerman sneaks up on Cinema Man from behind and stabs his TV head breaking the beam and his whole view. This incredible attack from Speakerman is known as the only thing that could overpower Cinema Man which is his only weakness known so far, and after taking all that damage, Cinnamon still doesn't die and teleports somewhere else, which I think is most likely the TV race headquarters we are most likely going to see in the upcoming episodes. After seeing the upgrades the Titan Cameraman got, it's safe to say that Cinnamon is most likely going to get some incredible upgrades as well, and my main guess is that he'll be getting a TV screen protector and a new way to fly and fight. And also... At the end of episode 47, we see that G-Man has taken a lot of damage and his whole face is messed up and he shoots the POV cameraman. And right after that, we get to witness something weird that hasn't ever happened before in the series. After G-Man shoots us, we fall down and the camera glitches, but the episode doesn't end. We see a new silhouette that we haven't seen before a human. A human in the middle of a city that is ruined and has nothing left. And it's the creator of the series, Dafukboom. This could mean so many things, and I have many theories about it, so if you would like to see a video about it, like and subscribe, and also mention it in the comments. Also, here are all the times the cinema man talked in reverse. So
Oh, damn. 